Mr. Bharat Doshi, trustee of the Lalit Doshi Memorial Foundation, will now introduce our distinguished speaker today, Dr. Minakshi Gopinath. Over to you, sir. Thanks, Ruby. Friends, this year, before I introduce the speaker, I have a short preamble to specifically mention that the speaker really went out of the way to understand the kind of person Lalit was and what he meant to his friends and family. In the process, besides the website, I shared several newspaper clippings and letters received at the time of Lalit's passing away in 1994. I also shared with her some photographs, selected photographs, just to add some visual aspects. At the request of Dr. Gopinath, I'm sharing these photographs today with the audience. Next slide. The first picture is of Lalit at the Inter-University Youth Festival in 1961, along with the contingent of Bombay University, which met the then Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. During his school and college days, amongst Lalit's several extracurricular activities, debates and elocutions, these competitions were his favorites. Here in the picture, Lalit and Rajam Pillai, second and third from the left, represented the Bombay University in Hindi debate and their team stood first amongst all universities. It was interesting to note that Hindi was not the mother tongue of both these team members. This is just to show one aspect of Lalit's personality. Next slide. The family picture here shows Lalit with Pratima Bhabi and Hemal, little Hemal, who was just seven years old when Lalit passed away. Next slide. The next picture is from the Dear Departed Gallery at my home, which shows our parents, Lalit, and our late cousin, whose name happened to be Minakshi. Next slide. Next two pictures are of the three brothers, Lalit, Subhash, and myself. Next slide. This is Lalit's picture with uh, late Arun Mongirwar. And both of them are laughing because there, was, there must have been some joke. But Lalit always had a smile on his face. But here is this picture and Mr. Bungirwar, as Mr. Nimbalkar explained, was one of not only a close friend, but also one of the very active founders for the Lalit Doshi Memorial Foundation. Next slide. The next picture shows Lalit at a lunch meeting in Davos at the World Economic Forum. And this picture was taken on 30th January, 1994. Next slide. This picture is in the snow outside the restaurant. And both these pictures, the last two pictures that I showed, were taken less than an hour before Lalit passed away. I will now proceed with the pleasant task of introducing the speaker, Dr. Minakshi Gopinath, this evening. So good evening friends again, and I should also say good morning friends and good afternoon friends, as we have audience participating from Australia in the East to US in the West. We welcome some of the past speakers, Dr. Julio Ribeiro, uh, Mr. Julio Ribeiro, Dr. Akesh Mohan, Vijay Nambia, who are present with us today. We also welcome Dr. Minakshi Gopinath's spouse, Mr. Rajiv Merotra, a renowned writer 
and an independent documentary filmmaker, editor, and producer who also is present in the audience today. It is my privilege and honor this evening to introduce Dr. Minakshi Gopinath on the occasion of the 27th Lalit Doshi Memorial Lecture. The foundation is delighted as this year is really a special occasion and we are fortunate to have a distinguished lady speaker for the first time joining the galaxy of our illustrious speakers in the Lalit Doshi Memorial Lecture Series. Dr. Minakshi Gopinath is an educationist par excellence, a political scientist, a writer, and distinguished principal emerita of Lady Sri Ram College, New Delhi. It was Dr. Rakesh Mohan and Ambassador Vijay Nambiar, both past speakers in the memorial lecture series, who strongly recommended Dr. Minakshi Gopinath's name as a speaker for this year. We connected on phone in mid-June this year, and after a pleasant conversation, Dr. Gopinath very graciously accepted our invitation. Over the last two and a half months, we have had several conversations as she was very interested in knowing more about Lalit and understanding the spirit of Lalit. Meenakshi thank you very much for all your comments and questions led me down the memory lane and made me remember several stories and incidents about Lalit as we talked. Friends, you all have the brief CV of Dr. Minakshi Gopinath as a part of the invitation card. While introducing her, I will therefore narrate and weave in the lesser known personal aspects about the speaker based on my personal interaction with her and based on some internet search. Minakshi ji's grandfather, Sri Patan Thannu Pillai, the freedom fighter was the chief minister of Kerala in the 60s. Minakshiji's father was a civil servant and her mother, a Gandhian, both of them believing in an inclusive society. Minakshiji wanted to become a doctor, but family intervened as the bio biology class was too late in the day and destiny took her to the field of political science and education. After her BA honors in political science at Lady Sri Ram College, she pursued a master's degree at University of Massachusetts at Amherst. Thereafter, she returned to India to secure a doctoral degree from the University of Delhi. Earning a Fulbright scholarship, she did postdoctoral work at Georgetown University. She started her career as a member of faculty at the Jawaharlal Nehru University but subsequently joined the Amma Mater, Lady Sri Ram College, and served the institution for over two and a half decades since 1988 as principal. She contributed to the ascendancy of her college as a center of excellence in the country, and in recognition of her invaluable contribution, post her retirement, she is now the principal emerita of Lady Sri Ram College. While surfing on the net, I found a video on the YouTube covering the farewell function on a retirement, and it is titled The Magic of LSR. The love and affection showed by the teachers, the administrative staff, and the student pours heavily in the last few minutes of the video. Seeing the video, I too, who has known Minakshi ji for a very short time, had tears in my eyes as she walked to the gate with her admirers on both sides of the floral path, cheering her. It was obvious from the scene that Minakshi ji was the majestic magician behind the magic of LSR. Dr. Gopinath was the first woman to serve on the national Security Advisory Board of India, which she did from 2004 to 2006, where she sought to mainstream gender and human security concerns. She is the founder and incumbent director of the Women in Security, Conflict Management and Peace, WISCOMP, an NGO promoting peace and socio-political leadership among the women in South Asia. 
Viscom's partnerships with schools and colleges in training young people into a new vocabulary of leadership and active coexistence through the education and civil society space in several parts of the company reflects this aspiration. Under the auspices of Viscom, several intensive workshops were held between India and Pakistan. And over a period of 13 years, more than 400 Pakistani men and women participated. She has written and lectured extensively on issues of conflict transformation, peace building, and education for peace in South Asia and internationally. She has received several awards, and I won't list them all, but in recognition of her contribution to the field of education and women's empowerment, she has received awards, including the Padma Shri Award, Indira Priyadarshini Gandhi Award, the Rajiv Gandhi Award for Excellence in Education, and Quimpro Platinum Award for Education. I'm tempted to quote from the citation of the Quimpro Award. I quote, a person of many avatars, Dr. Gopinath has interests in human rights and gender issues, conflict resolution and peace issues, innovative pedagogy, yoga, Buddhist philosophy, documentary films, and Indian classical dance, an inspiration for women in Asia, an international benchmark." Unquote. This evening, she'll be addressing us in her avatar as a leader in the field of education. Minakshi ji, we now look forward to your lecture, The Expansive Academy, a role for higher education in India. Dr. Minakshi Gopinath.